again and I am back with another video and I'm going to be talking about some American Girl prototypes. Now I was planning on making this video and as I was working on it I got a few messages from a few people saying have you seen this prototype, have you seen that prototype and it was, it was just kind of weird that it kind of felt like people were reading my mind which is amazing. Um, and I saved the photos but I was trying to find who sent it to me but um I wasn't able to find that. So if you send me an Instagram message saying, hey, have you reacted to this prototype? Um, I saved, I should have taken a screenshot, <laughs> but I, I saved, downloaded the images. So I'm very sorry if you sent me prototype images and I'm not crediting you, I am very sorry. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. The company doesn't release them, it's always leaks, it's always information that kind of slips out from the company. So you never know if it's confirmed, you don't know how far along they were with this idea, it could have just been an idea that they scrapped relatively quickly. We really don't have the full story, and we don't even know if it's true. It could be something that someone's sharing, saying it's a prototype, it's a prototype, when it really wasn't a prototype. So please take this all with a grain of salt, because I can't confirm nor deny none of the this is 100% true fact. So I found this really interesting link when I was on the Google, on the Google, <laughs> and it's just hashtag American Girl Prototypes. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a folder. I don't know. I haven't used Tumblr in years, so I have no idea. Um, but it's by this account, In Pleasant Company, I think is where all the posts are from. And there's just some interesting prototypes. So very first is that we have a prototype that um, they are considering could be a early prototype of Cecile. Let's see if we can zoom in. So this, and the reason they're saying this is because um, this illustration was um, done by the same person who did other illustrations for American Girl. Um, I think that this person, the illustrator, did um, the illustrations from Marie Grace and Cecile. So this could have been an early mock-up of Marie Grace, or not Marie Grace, Cecile, sorry. <laughs> I almost said Marie Grace and Cecile. No, just Cecile, obviously. Because this is Cecile here, and then this is kind of their comparison photo. So as you can see, she kind of still has this red shawl thing going on. Um, but yeah, so what do you think about these two images? Do you think that this looks similar to Cecile? Make sure seems like you were out of free samples. Another prototype we have is this theory that Rebecca was supposed to have a different name. So let's zoom into this, um, the screenshot. I'm just gonna read the description. Let's make a movie. Rebecca thinks this is a grand idea, but when her co gentle cousin Anna, I don't know if it's Anna or Anna, I'm sorry, plays the role of a cruel factory boss, the fun turns sour. Once Rebecca learns the truth about factories, though, she begins to see why Anna or Anna acted so mean. A few days later, Rebecca visits the factory where Anna's brother and father work, and she's horrified. How can anyone work in such conditions? Is this the life that's in store for Anna? But as awful as, fact as the factory is, Tasha knows the that Anna's father and brother desperately need their jobs. There's got to be a way to make things better at the factory, and Rebecca is determined to do her part, even if that means marching straight into danger. So yeah, this is the changes for Rebecca, so the very last uh, book in the Rebecca series, and as you can see, it says Tasha right there. So was Tasha supposed to be Rebecca? So I guess we won't know. So this was posted in 2007. I'm just not going to read the full thing because we don't got time for that. Um, so I'm just going to Google Tasha or Control Find. Uh, five years ago, a Jewish doll was more than a consideration. Um, a prof or St Stephen Broomberg, a professor of education at Brooklyn College and the Graduate Center of CUNY, was commissioned to fact check a book about N Tasha a proposed Jewish doll who lived on the Lower East Side at the turn of the century. I was impressed by American Girl's intent to be historically accurate, says Broomberg. He was asked to validate information on details as precise as the color of the walls of Tasha's public school. But the book was edgy and included a plot twist in which Tasha's unionized cousin was clubbed by policemen while standing on a picket line. Ow. 
Despite reaching completion, the project was tabled around the time that Mattel purchased Cleansing Company in early 2004. Um, the, another thing they mentioned, um, BC, before Claudia, apparently there was a theory that Claudia replaced a white character named Estelle, which I talked about in my video, um, Egyptian archaeologist doll or something like that. I'll have that video linked in the description where I talk about what happened to Estelle and the rumored doll. And I got that information from Reddit and I did cite my sources in that video or showed my sources in that video at least. Um, so I think this person might be referring to my video. Um, was interested in ancient Egypt to the discovery of King Tut's tomb that happened in 1922, which is what I said in my video. But that's also common knowledge, so yeah. I'm currently taking this as a heaping spoonful of salt as I'm wondering if we, the AG Tumblr community, accidentally com contributed to this theory. Unofficial American Girl podcast thought up some characters to fill in the areas that AG hadn't covered, and I made a mock-up for a few of them. And when I made a mock-up for the 1920s character Barbara, I gave her a pin in the shape of King Tut's head. As you can see, there's a Blair base, and if you zoom in, a pin of King Tut's head. So, then we have original illustrations of Kirsten and Samantha and Molly and just some original sketches of the dolls there or claimed these are original. I'm not saying that this person's necessarily lying, but like it's so easy to just copy and paste things on the internet and it's hard to find the original origins of things. So, I'm not when I say allegedly or claiming, I, it's not I'm not saying that the person is apparently lying. It's just that we don't know for sure because the internet information gets transferred and lost. This is another thing that showed up. I believe this is Makari. I can't recognize the... Oh, yes, Makari. And this is supposed to be Pleasant Company prototype Samantha Aclara doll. So, like, a baby doll for Samantha. And this seller is claiming that this is a prototype. Um, normally, I would dismiss something like this as fake, which, which is what I would have said. <laughs> However, several... of Pleasant Rowland's sketches appear in American Girl, The Ultimate Visual Guide, and one of these sketches features a baby doll for Samantha. Technically, this isn't a Clara prototype, but a Samantha doll prototype, which is very cool. Um, here's a listing if you want to see more photos. Okay, let's see if it shows up. This is like an investigate with me kind of video. Oh, it's gone. That's sad. Did not know that there was an American Girl Ultimate Visual Guide, though. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of that book, because that would be very interesting. The city's name was originally going to be Lucy. Okay, I wanted to talk about this. So, for about a year, longtime Colonial Williamsburg employee Sandy Bradshaw worked on the doll's design and prototype, including her clo clothing, a tea table, and a tea chest. So, oh, there we go. It says right there, Lucy 1774. That's where it was coming in this little tiny image here if you zoom in. So this is like a replica of Felicity's or Lucy's <laughs> um, Christmas dress. And it looks like she has blonde hair. She looks a little bit like Elizabeth. Very interesting, very interesting. So that's where the Lucy thing came from because I wasn't able to find it before. But if you look at the image, it does say Lucy. So I guess that's very cool, very interesting. Felicity was supposed to be Lucy. Uh, there was a Samantha prototype with Samantha having short hair similar to Nellie. Um, uh, Kirsten's name could have been Rebecca, um, uh, with K's, um, no link to that. Um, Addie had a prototype meat dress. I'll just slap the meat dress into the video here. Uh, so it's supposed to have, like, white flowers instead of stripes. Um, there's a lot of these prototypes out there floating around. But yeah, there's a lot of, uh, Addy prototypes. You, f you can find them on eBay. They are expensive, though, but they are available if you really want an Addy prototype dress. Mia was originally supposed to be a black girl. So this photo is very interesting. So we have two different wigs, and it looks like the beginnings of the Sonali face mold is what people think this face mold later turned into the Sonali mold with some... Um, I guess like altercations. So um, this is supposed to be an original kind of outfit and then what they were thinking she was going to look like with two different wigs and then ultimately it decided what Mia looks like with the orange hair, the green eyes, and the freckles. This is Kit's prototype outfit. So this is um, an original illustration of what Kit was supposed to look like. Um, so she has a blue skirt um, and like white shirt. And um, one thing I did want to mention that's not listed in this, but when I was listening to the American Girl podcast, I, f I think, I forget what it's officially called, but the official podcast from the American Girl company with, you know, five hens and a cockatiel and 
um, AG for All Ages, I think is the other account, um, that hosts the podcast. They were talking with somebody who develops new products for American Girl. I forget which episode this was, but um, they were talking about how Kit was supposed to have short, blonde, curly hair. So I think she was supposed to look like this Truly Me doll, which I will put an image of. I'm forgetting the number. I want to say 56, but I'm I'm totally pulling that number out of third air, thin air because I don't I don't know the Truly Me numbers off by heart. But I think she's supposed to look like this because if you compare them between her and Kit, very very similar to each other. So I think that they just kind of re-released this idea that it was supposed to be for Kit, and they put it. Um, as a truly me that's just that that part of the story is not confirmed by american girl but they did confirm that she was supposed to have short blonde curly hair so i think that kit was supposed to look like this because they both have blue eyes and freckles and blonde hair so i think that this might be a, what kit was supposed to look like they did say in the podcast that i don't i think like little girls didn't like the curly hair or maybe they thought it'd be difficult to take care of um and that they were heartbroken that they didn't end up going with the curly hair because they associated kit with this beautiful blonde curly hair not that the straight hair is not beautiful that's what i'm saying i hope people don't attack me in the comments <laughs> but um yeah so go listen to the american girl podcast i i haven't listened to it for a while i probably missed a few episodes but go check it out because it's very fun Mary Ellen had three prototype outfits. Now I do have some other images of Mary Ellen prototypes with her hair, um, but this is some of the prototype outfits. So you have like a pink version of her meat outfit. This looks very similar to her meat outfit, except for it's all pink and white instead of like the coral and the, um, the turquoise blue and the white. Um, I don't think there's another color in it. There might be another color, but I don't think so. So I really like this outfit. And then she had like this kind of like gardening outfit. It looks like a gardening outfit to me with like the gloves and like the button up shirt. Very, very cute. And then this other outfit here, which is very cute um, with the blue plaid. This might have turned into her school outfit now that I think about it because her school outfit kind of has this purple plaid going on. But these outfits never ended up being a thing which is really sad because I really like them and they're so cute. But then again, Mary Ellen is like one of my favorite characters. I love the 1950s, like style wise. These images, which people call prototypes, but I don't know if it's actually the true definition of a, a prototype. But for basic history, for those of you who might be new to American Girl or maybe you not, might not know this, Early American Girl dolls, before they were owned by Mattel, were owned by Pleasant Company. And before Pleasant Company was a thing, the founder of the company, Pleasant Rowling, Rowland? Rowland? Rowling? So I googled it. It's Pleasant Rowland. Not Rowling. I think I'm getting her confused with J.K. Rowling. But, because people correct me in the comments all the time. And I keep on messing it up. Anyways, Pre Pleasant Rowland. Rowland? Rowland? Oh my god, I'm getting way too caught up in this. This woman saw these dolls, the, I've been calling them gots, but other people have said goots, and I don't know, because it's a German company that creates German dolls, obviously, because it's a German company, of course they're gonna, okay, not my smartest moment, but these dolls were made and sold in Germany, and... Uh, let's just take a zoom in. So Pleasant Rowland really liked the look of the, um, like these dolls and, um, asked them essentially, can you make some and that I can sell in America? And then gots or goods agreed. And this is the comparison. So this is what the goods dolls look like or one of the versions because goods sells or gots sells so many different kinds of dolls um but these are called the romina dolls and as you can see it looks very this is an american girl and then this is a romina doll and the romina dolls have the hard bodies hard vinyl bodies and the american girls of course have the soft bodies so they're a little bit different but as you can see they have similar or like pretty much the same face mold and the same full like hands and feet and limbs 
It's just that their bodies are different. And these dolls are really, really popular. And people who are American Girl collectors love buying them and collecting them. Especially the <laughs> Samantha like one with the brown hair and the brown eyes but then again samantha is one of the more popular characters i find from my experience she's a definitely a fan favorite next we have a link for prototypes of julie now someone i can't remember if it was one person or a few people sent me these photos so again if you sent me this photo please leave it in the comment section below um, because I would love to shout you out and thank you for sending them to me, but, um, yeah, I'm very sorry that I didn't keep track of who sent these to me and brought this to my attention, but I was able to Google when I Googled Julie prototype to be able to find them. So originally these photos here were taken from an Oprah video. This is again from Tumblr. Um, let's see if I can find, I don't know who posted this. I'm very sorry. Uh, I think it might be in Pleasant Company again, um, the one I talked about before, but um, these are from uh, an Oprah video. Uh, it appears she was going to have a darker blonde hair and blue eyes. Essentially, she was Elizabeth from the 70s. So as you can see, this image here looks very similar to Elizabeth, so the blue eyes, the blonde hair and the braids, and then here are some other images of Julie with different hairstyle. And then I think this is the one that she ended up having in 2007. So yeah, those are some prototypes of Julie. Has an image of a prototype of Kaya. I know there's one out there. I have seen it. I've tried everywhere to find this prototype of Kaya. And it was a Kaya doll that had like the classic face mold, but with like black long braided hair. And she had a different skin tone than the Kaya, if I remember correctly, the Kaya that we know now. Um, and the image I remember seeing was it was being shown to people who are part of uh, their indigenous advisory board that were giving feedback about Kaya in the creation of Kaya. So it was a photo of people's kind of like reactions to that Kaya doll. That is when they decided to have the Kaya with the closed mouth because they, the people on the advisory board said that um, showing teeth was like um, disrespectful in their culture. Um, so then they decided to make the new Kaya mold because of that reason. So if anyone has that photo that I'm talking about, if they know the photo I'm talking about, make sure to like send me a message on Instagram. Uh, even if you don't have it, just be like, I've seen it too and you're not crazy. That would also be greatly appreciated. But um, I think that's it for my video. That's all the prototypes I could find. I know there is more out there. These are just the ones that got leaked by, not by American Girl, these somehow got leaked. And that's why we're able to see them. But there is probably thousands upon thousands of prototypes that will never see the light of day. Make sure to subscribe and also make sure to follow my Instagram for I post about no, doll news and about my collection over there. And also follow my TikTok. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.